What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. After Sound here, bringing you Splinterlands content every single day. We also stream right here on this channel every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday morning. So come by and say hello. All right, guys. I wanted to talk about the what it's what feels like a major shift that's happening, probably across all leagues. Now, I've obviously felt it in. Uh, Diamond, which is where I play, and then I also play the Aftersound Nifty account in Bronze. And I'm talking specifically Modern here because I don't have uh, any context for Wild right now outside of conversations with people who are still playing Wild, but we do know that a lot of the botting behavior has gone over there. We can see statistically and from the data that the battles or number of battles has increased dramatically in Wild and also decreased dramatically in Modern. But what I'm noticing, and you could probably see it here, is the fact that things have gotten much more difficult. Now, I generally play most of the season in Diamond 2, but I, I'm, well, I start the season in Diamond 2, but then I make my way to Diamond 1, which is where I, I spend the predominant part of the season and sometimes make it up into Champion 3. Well, with this change that went live, you can see here that I, well, I went on a massive losing streak at some point, which was awful, but it brought me back down to Diamond 2. And now I've seemed to have found my footing in Diamond 2. I'm winning some, losing some, kind of as we go along. But what I'm noticing, not just here, but also in Bronze, is that we're starting starting to see a lot of the higher level cards or higher level, really what I should say is like the untamed cards starting to make an impact. Now, keep in mind that this shift is happening right on the back of another major shift that happened at the beginning of the month with the SPS staking rewards or SPS staking requirement going live. You had a lot of people shifting the league, a lot of people who may have been stretching up a little bit, start playing down in a league where they had the, you know, uh, a decent amount of SPS in order to earn a respectable multiplier, whatever it is for that person. Now, with that change being implemented and us feeling the impacts, now we're getting this other change where all of a sudden people, yeah, I, I think the competition in certain ways has gotten much more difficult. And it's funny because in talking with Darkest Night, it sounds like the competition for him in Wild, because he's manually playing Wild right now, has gotten easier and he's rising the ranks easily in Wild. And so we were having this conversation earlier today and it's just like, okay, well, I think a lot of the bots that were stretching went over to Wild and that's why he's doing well right now. And I, he's, he's obviously a fantastic player uh, in his own right. But the, if, if you can just catch, catch my point here, it's easier for him to rise up because he's playing a lot of these underpowered bots. Whereas now in modern uh, diamond, right, specifically, I don't have all of these bots that were stretching from gold or stretching uh, from diamond into high diamond or champion the way that I used to before. In fact, I'm seeing a lot of names, which is awesome, by the way, right? So shout out to like Cryptozard, just played him in a battle here. But, you know, I, yesterday I, I played in a battle against Yasik, who was in my opinion, one of the top players within the game, right? So at the end of the day, I think what we're going to continue seeing is this shifting in the, the tectonic plates or whatever you want to call it for Splinterlands coming off the back of these two major changes, the SPS taking requirements, and then of course the, the modern pro human league. So if you're playing in wild, you can completely disregard this, but if you're playing in modern, I think this is something to keep in mind. And if you've been extra frustrated because you can't win, and I've seen comments all across discord, across YouTube, across Twitter, I think this is exactly what it is. Now, now that I'm down, right, I dropped down a, a tier, not a, not a league, but a tier, right, from Diamond 1 to Diamond 2, I seem to be doing a little bit better, and I'm feeling good about that overall. And if this is a new place in which I operate, that's totally fine. I understand that I don't even have a max Chaos Legion deck or a max Rift Watcher set. Uh, it's really just the reward cards that I have max, and then, of course, some of the new... Uh, Soulbound reward cards that are only really maxed for gold is the, is the farthest that I've gone with some of the, the commons and rares. So at the end of the day, I'm playing with an underpowered deck in Diamond, yet still able to hold uh, hold my own so far in Diamond 2. But I think the days of me playing in Diamond 1 before, because there were so many other either underpowered accounts or bots that were playing underpowered accounts, they're just not here anymore. And so it's it's not as easy to beat down on them the way that we used to before versus the situation now where when I'm looking for a match, I may be playing people who are higher ranked than me in Diamond, right? Uh, so at the end of the day, this is something that obviously we're going to have to watch and see and let it take some time to unfold. But that's kind of my initial thought with this, both in in Diamond Modern as well as Bronze Modern. I'll just quickly touch upon that with the After Sound Nifty account. It's not that, uh, you know, I was playing in Bronze 1 and I could make it easily up to the, the 1,000 rating and stay around there. But what I'm noticing is that a lot of the accounts that I'm playing now are no longer all, all of those, you know, botted accounts that were playing preset lineups. 
I'm playing against other untamed cards, legendary summoners across the board. The competition has gotten a little a, a little bit stiffer just in Bronze 1. Now, that hasn't pushed me down, uh, at least not down to Bronze 2, but in terms of like competing at the higher levels in Bronze 1, there's definitely better competition now. I can't get those easy wins like I used to playing against some of the botted accounts. So I'm curious to get your thoughts on this. We've now had it for a little bit over 24 hours, but uh, I, th I think that I'm set now at so as somebody who's probably going to be playing in Diamond 2 for the foreseeable future until and unless you know some something happens and I can I can start to level up my deck more. I just get better with strategies or play easier opponents. But let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I will catch you all in the next video and see you around the game. Take care.